Do you feel overwhelmed when you go out shopping for hair care products in the drugstore slash chemist? Or maybe you're a hair professional that thinks that non-professional products are terrible. Well, I'm a hairdresser and hair colorist with 37 years experience, and you're gonna come shopping with me, and we're gonna get into what's good, what's bad, and what I recommend to you to give you the best hair ever. Hello and welcome to the world of Craig. Yes, that's me, I'm Craig, and this is my channel where we get into all things hair and sometimes a little bit of beauty. As you've already seen from the intro, this is another In My Shop Up series, all about getting into hair care and what's good at the drugstore slash chemist. I always do the drugstore slash chemist because you might be watching this in the US or somewhere else in the world, but I'm here in London in the UK, the United Kingdom. This series has been so popular, I'm really grateful. Thank you so much for all of your support. Who knew that a video on box dye, box dye would just go whoosh, but it did. And I really enjoy making this series. But without further ado, let's not have a super long intro. Let's get into what I think is good at the drugstore, what is to be avoided, and what can give you the best hair, like I said in the intro, the best hair that you could ever have. And if you're a hair pro, there's lots of nuggets of information in here as well. So let's get into that shop up. <laughs> So we're in, the music's loud, goodness me, goodness help us. There's a lot on offer, there's a lot to talk about. I've already seen some things that I want to get into. Okay, let's have a look. Shall we start off with a classic, shall we? Elmet, yes, you probably all have seen this in your drugstore slash supermarket slash chemist. Comes in minis, why do I love minis so much? I do not know. Elmet is a classic hairspray, love it or hate it. Slightly triggering for me because Back in the days of me doing Fashion Week when I was in my 20s, we used to use an awful lot of Elnet. But it's a really good product and they've really sort of expanded the line. So we've got one here that's a um, Shine Dull Hair Stronghold. We've got Normal Hold. We have Volume Flat Hair. This is the extra strong hold that I am used to that I've used. I mean, I love the packaging because it is a classic, it's iconic. I don't know whether you know this and I know that the formulation on this is good. It gives you hold. I don't know about the newer SKUs, but I know it gives you hold and it's very easily brushed out. But I don't know if you know about hairspray, but hairspray actually uses vinyls and plastics that are water soluble. And probably some of these would also contain some form of silicon or silicone, but they basically, that's what gives you the hold. It's the vinyl. Now I know without even looking, oh, if I can just, there we go. Uh, let's have a look. We've got alcohol in here. We've got, yes, that's, that will make the hair shiny. This is dimethyl uh, ether. What else is in here? Yes, as I thought, lots of kind of polymers, plastics, but they are all water soluble. And you know, at a price point like 4 95 you're not gonna go wrong with something like Elnet if you want to hold your hair, but you want something you can then brush out when you, at the end of the day, or before you shampoo your hair, a really good, solid, no pun intended, all round product. I have actually used this recently, relatively recently. I was on, um, I was actually at a hotel doing someone's hair and my hairspray ran out, whoops. And I ran out and bought some of the flexible hold and just one of these little mini cans, actually exactly this, and it was really, really cool, really good. Of course, you could get a mini can first to try it out, but Elnet, a classic and icon. And of course, true to form, Craig has just helped somebody with a purchase. I hope that they have a lovely night out, they've forgotten their hairspray and they're going on a night on the town. Now this, I haven't seen before, and do you know what? I'm gonna buy this and test it out. The Elnet Cre Creme de Mousse Volume Stronghold um, the hold and volume of a mousse, the care of a delicate cream. Now this sounds like my kind of product. First up, I mean, I just love the packaging. I really do. Um, obviously, if, you're, if you've been here for a while, you know I'm a sucker for packaging. Now, what, do we, what have we got on the back of here? Before first juice, remove the security lock uh, ingredients. Water, glucose, that's interesting. So glucose is used in styling products. Um, and if I keep saying focus, it's not me, it's the phone camera, sorry. But the glucose is used to make the hair feel thicker. Because glucose, uh, obviously a sugar derivative, can make the hair feel thicker and more voluminous. Um, sativa seed oil, uh, camelina, yes, that's a natural extract. This is a really great um, formulation, actually. Quite a simple formula. It's got fragrance in it, so if you're allergic to that, 
Then it has some um, polymers in here as well to, to make the hair feel voluminous. But yeah, creme de mousse. Who knew? There we go, focus. Oh, see, focus. Volume and strong hold. Maybe if there is a softer hold one. No, there's curls and strong hold. So maybe that is the one. And it's the last one. So that's going to go in my basket. <laughs> now, I spy with my little eye something that will stop a fly in mid flight. Yes, it's Schwarzkopf, got to be glued. This is what we use on TV and in like some fashion as well i mean i haven't ever used it in a fashion situation but we use a lot of it in television and this is probably the strongest hair hairspray known to man it has a lot of polymers in it it is obviously highly flammable because of you know because it's highly flammable there's a lot of alcohol in here as well the ingredients that this is very simple but it is a very chemically strong hairspray if you like you know, all of these ingredients in here are either propellant or something to hold the hair, but it really does the job. If you don't want your hair to move, you know, if you're working on wigs or if you're doing something that you need to defy gravity, got to be is the one. I don't use an awful load of it, but I have it in my kit so that when I do TV, sometimes you're expected to use things like this to make things hold. But yeah, it's it, again, it's an icon. I'm, a, I'm sorry, controversial, I hate the packaging, but I just do. And then this, this glued brows and edges. This has been really popular, it kind of went viral on TikTok. This is like a liquid version, if you like, of this. And it's a gel for taming eyebrows, but also great for edges. And I have used this for edges on a wig, and it really is fantastic. Again, very, very strong, as is this. We use this at Eurovision, and we use this to do finger waves on a wig. And once it's set, it's set. And it's, yeah, it's very, very solid. But you know, if you want something that holds, for sure, go on, in you go. If you want something that holds for sure, then got to be is your gal. <laughs> now something that is very popular and has been around for a while now and really is a popular product and that's Color Wow. Now I've mentioned this before on my channel that this is actually made by the Federici Labs who make John Frieda hair care. The lab is a fantastic lab. You know, they make brilliant formulas and this is super popular and I've got clients that use it personally myself I am a fan of the L'Oreal, um, the Magic Retouch sprays, but this is a different option because it's a powder. You can see here on the um, display, this is actually a powder and it's positively charged. No, sorry, it's negatively charged, that's the one. So it sticks to the hair and it means that you can sleep in it and it doesn't kind of get on your pillows and stuff like that, as long as you don't use too much. If you use a lot of it, then it will. But it's really great for masking roots or for retouching, you know, highlights that have grown out. And, you know, clients love it. And in, again, in TV, we use quite a lot of this on hairlines or on um, the napes of necks if someone's wearing a wig and the colour doesn't quite match. But Colour Wow, do you use Colour Wow? Have you used it? I know it's super popular. I didn't realise how much it is. It's expensive, 29.50, but it lasts a long time. Works like an eyeshadow. Um, obviously, I'm not going to open one of these up. Oh, there we go. That's quite a, um, sorry, my phone is not focusing. That's quite a graphic representation and almost like an illustration. I don't think you quite get results like that. If you use too much, it does look powdery, but it is a brilliant formula. She's an icon. There are many skews. She is Batiste dry shampoo. I've just noticed this, the overnight deep cleanse dry shampoo. Now, I think Batiste gets quite a hard rap when people say it's terrible and it ruins your hair. No, it doesn't for what it is. It is a dry shampoo. And really inside here, there is a ton of propellants, which are basically alcohols of different sorts, you know, different types. There's rice starch, which is a really great ingredient for soaking up oil. Sodium bicarbonate again, that will soak up the oil. There's charcoal powder. There's a lot of fragrance. This has got hydrolyzed keratin in it. Hello. Um, but a lot of fragrance. So, you know, again, if you're allergic to fragrance, I say it a lot, or if you're sensitive, then that's something to think of. But this has got a really in impressive ingredients list. You're supposed to sleep in this to help detoxify your hair. I mean, you don't need a different sort of dry shampoo to do that. But the Batiste formulas are really great. It's been around for such a long time. You know, if you want something that's really gonna perform and really gonna soak up that, you know, the grease or the oil, oh, there's the original one there. 
then I would go for Batiste. And what's the price point? Like five pounds, four fifty, or if you've got an advantage card, which is like a points card here at Boots in the UK, and it's three pound fifty. But a great product. I'm always tempted to get some to try it out. Love a bit of dry shampoo. But I don't know why these things get knocked on social media. Well, they do because they do. But yeah, Batiste. Have you used Batiste? Do you love it? If you've got a favourite fragrance of the many that are here, let me know down below in the comments, obviously. <laughs> Now, I couldn't do a styling product video without talking about John Frieda Frizzy's serum. This is the thing that made them iconic, okay? Again, I've talked about this before. It's the Federici lab that develops these products. The same people that make Color Wow and the Color Wow Dream Coat, which is like viral. This is kind of hilarious. I mean, obviously this has been blow dried to make it smooth like that. You didn't just spray that on and then it turned like this. But these serums, now, you might be surprised to know, these get an awful lot of bad rep, but you might be surprised to know that the ingredients is very simple. Dimethicone, dimethiconol, which is another form of dimethicone, perfume, so it's very fragranced. Then it has some natural oils, um, moringa, uh, spinoza kernel oil, and then basically some preservatives. And that's all that's in here. It makes the hair slippery, it seals the cuticle, and it makes the hair super shiny. If your hair is very textured, I would apply you know, a pump of this onto damp hair before you blow dry. And you, know, you need to stretch it out to get these kind of smooth results. And that's not this product, obviously, but to get that kind of smoothness from this, you need to stretch the hair out. And then you could use a tiny little amount to make the hair shiny afterwards. The silicone police, calm down. The dimethicone in this is water soluble. And you know those videos where they scrape the scissors up the hair and say, that's silicone. No, it's not. It's the cuticle they're scraping off. These are really great formulas. All of this line is really fantastic. But this is great if you have texture or you want to increase the shine in your hair. Go frizzies. And what's the price point of this? $7.99. I mean, it's a great price point for what it is that you're getting. And that would last you an awfully long time. For thick, coarse hair, fine to medium, medium to thick. You've got it all covered. <laughs> So look, I wasn't fibbing. I do actually have that L'Oreal uh, creme de whatever it was in my basket down, down by my feet. Now I've just noticed that obviously I mentioned this before, the Magic Retouch. Love it, use a lot of it for TV and stuff. I've got clients that really love this and buy it in bulk. Sometimes it's quite hard to get hold of because it's so popular. But I've just noticed, and this is a styling video, but L'Oreal have packaged a 10 minute root touch, root touch up coverage, get your words out, Craig in the same kind of packaging, mess-free applicator, it's kind of cool, isn't it, kind of nifty, um, in, a, in a basically a package to look like the Magic Retouch, but in a permanent colour. That obviously means that that is a big, big seller for them. And also they have these mascaras, which I also have in my kit, because you never know, I have a blonde one, a brown one, and a black one, um, but the same kind of thing as this, but in a mascara. Yeah. Marketing, 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 it's what, it's at the end of the day, it's what sells these products. It's not a bad thing, but there is a lot of it about. So if you're a coily, curly and wavy girl, or man, or human being, you're gonna have to help me out here, because I have heard of Kelsmith online, and I have seen videos about it, but I don't know very much. I have just picked up this, the Hold Me Softly Style Balm. Now, can we just talk very briefly about this marketing? Made without silicones and sulfate, or sulfates. Silicones and sulfates are not the devil. They will not do you any harm. Silicones in styling products, I've said it over and over again, are water soluble. And sometimes if you've got coily, curly and wavy hair, then silico silicone is a good thing because it helps to smooth the cuticle. Sulfates are surfactants. They help things to lava. They help to give body to products. But again, it's, this is marketing. Cruelty free, fabulous. Vegan, yes, we're into that. So this is, um, here we go, silica so sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oils, phthalates, and DEA. So, you know, it's free of all of those things, and if that's for you, that's cool. It does have squeezed olives. I'm not sure what they're gonna do to anyone's hair. The oil of the olive, I'm guessing, which is good olive oil. Avocado oil, apricot kernel, rosemary extract. This is a buzzword at the moment, rosemary extract. You know, rosemary, it doesn't stimulate the scalp, it doesn't make hair grow, that's just nonsense. But this ingredients list is really lovely. So, you know, we have, the, we have water, obviously, we have a little bit of alcohol, which will be to get the nutrients of the product into the hair. 
Then we have lots of natural extracts, some really great is coconuts and avocado oil, which we've seen on the front. We have um, the apricot kernel oil, um, and then we don't, we have a little bit of fragrance added, which is kind of a shame really, because somebody might be sensitive to that. But this is a really good, it's got aloe in it as well. It's a really good formula packed full of natural ingredients. There's glycerin in here as well, which is very, very moisturizing and great if you've got wavy, curly, textured hair. But let me know, tell me in the comments, have you used Curl Smith? Do you love it? I know that there is a curly human tribe and I would like to get into that. So let me know if you use any of this. There, there are shampoos and conditions and treatments. Apparently this is new at an exclusive to Boots. It's expensive, you know, it's not, it's not a cheap product, but sometimes it's expensive to formulate things without those ingredients. Um, so yeah, Curl Smith, do you know anything about it? But that is an impressive formula. Now I'm in the curly, wavy, coily, textured section, and I'm a little bit sad because Pattern Beauty used to have its own end cap and it's down on the floor. Miss Tracy Ellis Ross. I mean, you know, what's she doing? What is she doing on the floor? Curl gel. I mean, I just love the packaging of this so much. That actually doesn't look like Tracy Ellis Ross, which is rather cool. Uh, I don't know why I keep doing that funny voice. So water glycerin again, which is an incredible humectant, coconut oil, uh, wheat amino acids, hydrolyzed silk. This has, here we see this benzyl alcohol, that's to help get the nutrients into the hair. If you see alcohol in a, in a cream or a gel product, it isn't necessarily the devil, you know, it's not gonna do the hair any harm. It's there as a carrier of nutrients. Uh, this has got castor oil, sunflower oil, which is a natural UVA, UVB, and a heat protectant, which is great. Oh, sorry, I'm skewing off all over the place. So, uh, really great ingredients, this, as I expected. What is the price point of this? £25. Have you used any Pattern Beauty? I mean, it's a shame to see it here on the floor. It does have fragrance in it down here. But, you know, these are things that I would love to try because of the, the origin of where the products come from. And, you know, uh, Tracy Ellis Ross is very passionate about what she creates and I know that she really is seriously seriously involved with her line I think they have hot tools and styling and styling tools as well but yeah pattern beauty what do you know have you used any of it there's obviously shampoos and conditions down here as well let's have a little look down here try not to bash my microphone oh that's shampoo so maybe we'll do that in another video <laughs> let's take a moment for some Pantene or Pantene if you're somewhere else in the world now this is the Miracle 5-in-1 Pre-Styler. Flexible, shapeability, damage protection, heat protection, frizz control and stronger hair. I will just say that the second ingredient on this is vinyl, which is a form of plastic which will coat the hair and give you fantastic heat protection. Okay, it will be water soluble, but some of you might not like the fact that this has vinyl in it and it coats the hair. Castor oil, which is, you know, again, gonna make the hair very smooth, very shiny. Citric acid, which addresses the pH of the hair. It has a lot of fragrance in it as well, this. So, you know, if you're sensitive to that, but it's quite a simple, oh, sorry, focus phone. We have the copolymer here as well, which is another thing that smooths the hair. So it will do what it says, but a very simple formula, if you like. And and lots of chemicals but for 11 pounds that's kind of what you're going to get but Pantene, Pantene, it's not a bad line it's you know the price points reflect the quality of what's in there if you like or the formulation the level of formulation it's not bad it will do what it does and as long as you protect your hair through conditioning shampooing and you don't put too much heat on it your hair will be fine um, but yeah I'm not sure it's a miracle though I mean no it's not a miracle but it will be a good styling product that will provide heat protection and uh, some, some curl style memory, uh, some style memory. Get more packaging that looks like it's aimed at 18. Oh, someone just dropped something. Now this is the VO5 Mega Hold Gel Spray for smooth styles. How many hours? 24 hour frizz control. I mean, yeah, I can understand that. Again, this is a very similar formulation to the Pantene or the Pantene, wherever you're from. It's a lot of polymer. You know, it has vinyl in it. Um, there's some alcohol in there, obviously, to make it dry. What else have we got in here? Looks over his phone so he can read. Yeah, it's got a form of dimethicone in there as well to make the hair smooth, copolymer. So, you know, 
great heat protection will make the hair very smooth. It has fragrance in there as well. But, you know, is it the most sophisticated formula or with lots of natural extracts? No, it is not. And what is the price of this one? It's uh, a fiver, it's five pounds. But I mean, these, this packaging, it just makes me giggle. I don't know why. Look at that. Woohoo! It's like an 80s revival, isn't it? Invisible Ultimate Hold. Freezes your style, 24 hour weatherproof with a coconut fragrance. Oh, I bet that smells like a, quite a sickly holiday. I don't know, I haven't sprayed it. But yeah, again, the formulas are reflective of the price points. Not bad, but they're there if that's what you want to use. BO5. BO5, I just love saying BO5. Classic. Hmm. Let's take a moment for Tresemme. I don't know why, but they get so much hate online. If this is their heat protection spray, up to 230 degrees heat protection, big fan of anything that's going to protect your hair from heat if you use hot tools, care and protect spray for all hair types. Now, if you only have £6.60 to spend, then this is a great product. And there's nothing wrong with it. And I've just noticed looking at the back that it has hydrolyzed keratin. Hair, hair is made from keratin, so that's a good thing to have. It will help to fill in the gaps in the hair, and make the hair feel smoother and silkier. And then it has silk amino acids as well, which are fantastic for touchability of hair. They make the hair really soft and silky when you're styling it. So if it's under seven pounds that you want to spend for a huge, great big bottle, 300 ml, then Tresemme is your gal. Let's not knock things just for the sake of knocking them and getting on a bandwagon. Tresemme. Quick question before we leave. Would you like a video that's dedicated to brushes, combs, equipment, and such that you can get at the drugstore or in a chemist like Boots? Because they have a really fantastic selection here. If you would like that, let me know in the comments and I will make it. More pink. <laughs> there is some really great stuff here though. Some great round brushes and things that I've spotted and some things I would advise you not to use. So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments. So we came, we saw there's some fantastic hairstyling here at Boots, but let's go home and have a little roundup chat about what we've got into here today. Hello, yes, it's me, I'm back. So that was our shop up. Some surprises there perhaps? Was there things that, were, was there things, were there things that I looked at that you were surprised at the formulations of? Were there things that I recommended that you would never have thought of using yourself? Well, you can leave all of that down below in the comments. And as always, I reply to everybody that leaves a comment or asks a question. I can't give you very specific formulas for hair colour because I can't see you, but I can answer your questions and try to help as much as I can. People are always surprised that I answer all the questions, but I do. If you enjoyed this shop up video and um, you'd like to see more in this series, then I will leave the playlist for this series linked down below in the description. But there was one thing that I looked at in that video that I just want to share with you. One second. So you saw me with my basket in Boots the Chemist looking at this creme de mousse. I I'm sure it's creme de mousse because it has the little thing over the E from L'Oreal from Elnet. Now I bought this because I said in the video I was going to buy it and I was dragging it around the store. Such a great product. Just a very quick top tip recommendation. I've been using this in salon for blow drying and also if I'm going to apply this to the hair, to damp hair, rough dry it in and then tong the hair or wave the hair with a straightening iron, like that, um, to get lots of texture. And it's so good. It is quite a firm hold product. Let's work, squeeze a little bit out here. I think I've locked it. Yes, it has a lock on the top of it. So if I just squeeze a little bit onto my hand, it is actually a mousse. I thought it was gonna be a cream because of the name, but it's not, it's a mousse but it's a firm hold, it's not sticky, it smells divine, and it makes the hair, look at me now, I feel a bit silly sitting here like this, makes the hair super bouncy and gives it loads of body and lots and lots of texture. I was super surprised, I think it was seven pounds, I think I mentioned that in the video, I'm filming these separately. Um, it was seven pounds, a really great price point, there's quite a lot of products in here as well, and I've been really enjoying it. So a little recommendation from a shop up that even I didn't know that I was going to enjoy. And I love the kind of, retro old school packaging. I need to wash my hand. 
So that's it for my hair styling shop up. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you know exactly what to do. If you do subscribe, thank you very much, but make sure you hit the bell to turn on your notifications so you will see everything that comes here on my channel. If you'd like to see lots more in this series, then please let me know down below in the comments. I was thinking of maybe like a bougie hair care shop up in a department store, maybe brand specific shop ups like L'Oreal and Weller and Tresemme, maybe, would you like to see those? Let me know and remember that if you leave me a comment, I will always get back to you. I have an Instagram too, which is packed full of my hair day to day. And there is a ton of hair education free for everybody here on my channel. So please check that out after this. And I will leave that shop up playlist on the end slate when I fade out. Ah, oh, you will see that you can click on that playlist and watch the other videos in this series. A huge thank you for watching this. You all take lots of care and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.